Welcome to the latest episode of Microbits and Bobs.co.uk. Having done some um, more research into MicroPython based on my um, my last video where we looked at background processes not being very uh, possible within MicroPython, um, I've since um, figured out a way that you can actually simulate a, a background process. Now, while it's not a threaded process, it will simulate how that seems to work. So if we look at the code, here we've got our jingle and here I am playing the jingle tune. Now the weight faults here, what that's doing is that will um, allow the music to play without waiting for this the song to stop before it moves on to the next um, part of the script. The loop true here forces it to keep repeating so this will now launch the jingle tune. It won't wait for the next line, it won't wait for it to finish before the next line starts and it will repeat it. I then display my Merry Christmas message here and again I'm doing the same. I'm not waiting for that to finish before the next thing starts and I'm looping it so that will also loop. I've also got my NeoPixels flashing here and this is in a while true loop so once it drops into here the LED, the program LED will keep scrolling and scrolling and scrolling so you'll get your flashing uh, Christmassy lights for your decoration. But while this is happening in the background, you will still get your Jingle Bells tune playing as well as your Merry Christmas message. If you watch the video that's playing in the corner, you'll see all three actions happening at the same time. All this is going to go on a worksheet to, uh, to help you cre create a nice Christmas decoration with your uh, Year 7s or your Year 8s this Christmas. Thank you very much for watching. Please check out www.microbitsandbobs.co.uk for more project ideas. And if you look on our YouTube channel, krockery.com, you'll um, you'll find links to all the videos. Thank you very much.